Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. In this video, I am going to discuss about regression equation. This is uh, the in this method, I am going to solve a numerical by deviation from the mean. You will all find an example which is already uploaded on this channel on regression method, which was solve a method differently than this video. Uh, so do watch that video link is in the description and you can follow any of the two method so without any further delay let's get started so guys let's begin our today's lecture on regression equation here we are provided with the question and the question says from the given data calculate regression equation taking deviation of items from the mean of x and y series is estimate the value of y when x equals to 2 well this is some additional proportion in some question you may be provided with this uh, additional line or you may not be provided and we will discuss about all the uh, these both the things first of all we will discuss about how to, we will find the regression equations of the of using this given value and then we will uh, find the value of y when x is equal to 2 well so before starting uh, what I need to tell you is uh, first of all here in this video I am going to discuss about the basic basics of this regression equation and later after learning about the basics of this regression equation then we will solve the numerical so basics there are basically two regression equation first one is regression equation of y on x and the second one is regression equation of x on y so uh, what I said this is just for understanding and uh, I will use it later so here First, uh, first one is regression regression equation of x on y so for regression equation on x on y it is given by x minus x bar equals to b x y times y minus y bar x bar and y bar are nothing just the mean of this value and bxy bxy says that we have when we are calculating bxy bxy equals to summation xy and whole divided by summation y square so and how to remember that what will be a denominator we are calculating bxy y is at behind x so so divide it by summation x summation y square divide summation x y by summation y square similarly when we discuss about the regression equation of y and x then we have another type of equation and that is c here we have another type of equation regression regression equation of y on x so regression equation of y and x is given by this is just inverse of the previous equation in place of x we will put y and in place of y we will put x so here we had x minus x bar so we will rewrite it as y minus y bar equals to b y x times x minus x bar this is regression equation for y and x now we have we need to calculate b y x so for b y x we have summation x y divided by summation x square now we need to find these values x bar y bar summation x y summation y square summation x square so that uh, we will simply substitute those value in this in this uh, variables and then we will calculate for we will solve this for numerical further so first of all what we need to do is we have to draw a table here i am going to draw a table here with x in one column y values in one column and then we will further resolve though using those value to use those value to calculate summation x y summation y square summation x square so let us see how it that is done so I have drawn the table and simply copied the value of x and y now what we need to do is take a take a few take a minute and calculate summation x this is this column is for summation x similarly we will calculate summation y so do the summation of this add all these terms and we will get summation x values so whenever you are drawing the this column here 
try drawing this lower column a little bit bigger so that you will be able to write summation x and summation y inside this row so uh, i have missed it but uh, that's okay now what you need to do is calculate summation x so add all these terms on adding these terms we will get 36 similarly on adding these all we will get 60 so after calculating summation x and summation y what we need to do we know is some x bar equals to summation x upon n where n is number of items and summation x is 36 divide this by number of items so number of items is 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so divide this by 6 we will get summation x equals to 6 similarly we need to calculate uh, y bar so y bar equals to y bar equals to summation y upon n i hope this is visible to you so here we go now put the value of summation y is 60 divide by 6 we will get 10 6 10 times 60 now we need to calculate this x equals to x minus x bar so 2 2 minus 6 is 2 minus 6 is minus 4 similarly 4 minus 6 is minus 2 so here what we are doing is we are subtracting mean from this x value so from x value so 2 minus 6 is minus 4 4 minus 6 is minus 2 and 5 minus 6 is minus 1 similarly 6 minus 6 is 0 8 minus 6 is 2 11 minus 6 is 5 now time to calculate the value of y so we will subtract uh, y bar y bar means this mean value that is 10 10 from this y value so 18 minus 10 is 8 similarly 12 minus 10 is 2 on doing so we will get here 0 minus 2 8 minus 10 is minus 2 7 minus 10 is minus 3 and similarly 5 minus 10 is minus 5 now what we need to do if we have calculated the value of y bar now uh, sorry y now we will calculate x square so x square is this time we will be using these values as x square y square we need to forget this value now because we have calculated this x and y so x square equals to 4 minus 4 square is 16 similarly 2 square is 4 1 square is minus 1 square is 1 minus 2 square is 4 0 square is 0 2 square is 4 5 square is 25 similarly y square for y square what we will have here now time to calculate the value of y square and y for y we have y equals to 8 so y square equals to 8 square means 64 2 square is 4 0 square is 0 2 square is again 4 3 square is 9 5 square is 25 now we will calculate xy xy means we need to multiply these elements of these two column and write it nearby so 8 times 4 is minus 32 similarly 2 times 2 is minus 4 and 1 minus 1 times 0 is 0 0 times minus 2 is 0 again 0 and 3 times 2 is minus 6 5 times 5 is minus 25 now we need to find the summation of these uh, elements so summation we in this column we will write summation x square similarly summation y square and summation x is y so on adding this we will get this value 50 106 and minus 67 now what we need to do is we have to put this value in this uh, let me tell you what we how we will do in exam first of all we will be provided with the question we do not need to write the question in uh, exam and after that then uh, we will simply write the question number solution and then we will draw this table calculate all the value after this after up to here now after this what we do we will write here now regression equation of y x on y equals to this and we need to put the value of summation x y here that is summation x y is minus 
67 and this divided by summation y square is 106 so on solving this we will get some value that is 67 divided by 106 and we will get here minus 0 0.632 minus 0 0.632 and 2 here now uh, we need to put the value here in this equation so here we will have x minus and x bar x bar is x bar is 6 so 6 equals to we have x minus 6 equals to bxy minus 0 0.632 times y minus y bar is 10 now on solving this we will get x minus 6 equals to minus 0 0.632 and sorry this is capital y we will write capital y here and plus 6.32 so from here we will get regression equation of x on y so x equals to uh, minus 0 0.632 y plus 12.32 after that we will do right here again regression equation of y and x equals to y minus y bar b x y so we will write here summation x y value that is minus 67 and divide this by summation x square value that is 50 so on dividing this we will get 67 divided by 50 we get 1.34 so here it is going to be minus 1.34 now we have y minus y bar summation y minus y bar y bar is 10 so 10 equals to byx is minus 1.34 multiplied by x minus x bar is 6 so here we will have here y minus 10 equals to minus 1.34 x plus 6 times 1.34 is 8.04 so we will have here y capital y equals to minus 1.34 x plus 18.04 so as we have got the value equation of uh, y then what we do are asked to calculate this est est estimate the value of y when x equals to 2 well so if x equals to 2 well we are asked to calculate the value so now if x equals to 2 well we will have here y equals to minus 1.34 into 2 well plus 18.04 so we will get the final answer here that is 1.96 enjoy if you guys are enjoying the content on civil learning online channel then do subscribe the channel if you do not want to miss any updates do share this video with your friend see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself